who's done fantastically well since moving to Italy's had a call up to the Scotland senior side as well hasn't played for Steve Clark's side yet Fiorini Mabuti quick feet of Dire Mabuti into the box unleashes a shot and that is wonderful from Dire Mabuti we've seen him do it at under 19 level for Scotland he's made the step up it's his first under 21 appearance and he's done it again well, I tell you what, Andrew, that is a goal of the highest quality. Farini absolutely thunders it into him. His first touch, he kills the ball dead. A little bit of trickery. He swivels. He knows exactly where the goals are. He shoots. He finds the side netting, and it's a goal um, to match. A fantastic tar start from Scotland. Skips to one side. Boom. Unleashes a shot. Keeper, no chance. Fantastic goal. And that's it. Just 18 years old. Fiorini back to Liam Morrison. Hackney, good ball in to Mabudi, who has space. Will he go for it again? Will he pick the pass? Summers goes for goal himself, Ben Summers, and he wasn't far away at all. No, he was not. And that initial pass had to be right, or it was going to get cut out. Mabudi picks it up again. Again, a wonderful first touch. He finds his teammate Summers. Rosengren. Nanasi, forward to Persson. And Jeremiah Mullen, I think, just slipped there initially and ended up giving away a foul. Rosengren will be the one to take. And it's headed to the back post. And that one goes under the body of Kieran Slicker. And it is an equaliser for Sweden. And it's Noah Isla, the centre-back, who's got it. Kieran Slicker unable to keep it out. It was the header across goal that caused confusion in the Scotland defence. And Sweden back level. Yeah, that's a disappointment. I mean, ideally you would like to win the first contact in the box. That's always the aim. But if you can't win the first one, you need to be switched on with the men you're marking and the runners. And it's just a little moment. Uh, lapsing concentration, possibly from Hackney. And he just sneaks in behind Isla. The players on the pitch have certainly done their job so far. And the ones on the bench will be looking to come on and make an impression Rosengren Noah Persson cuts it back to Rosengren and that one ends up in the back of the net it was a good ball back from Persson towards Rosengren who made the attacking run forward and the ball just nestling past Kieran Slicker Sweden have come from behind and are now 2-1 up well it all starts a few shots back Lado again picks the ball up does so so well and then Rosengren plays it out wide in person, lifts his head, composure, calmness, and Rosengren tucks it away. Well, here's Joe Mendes, the Braga right back. That's a good ball inside. Here's Rooney Bargey, and we did say, look out for Rooney Bargey. He is one of the emerging talents, not only in Swedish football, but in European football as well. The 17-year-old gets his first Sweden under-21 goal. He's already got five goals in 33 appearances for FC Copenhagen. Wow, what a finish. That is clinical, to say the least. Stands it up towards Luis Fiorini, who will hit it first time! And that is a fantastic strike from Luis Purini. A really good way for Scotland to finish off this game because 3-1 looked like a harsh scoreline and it was Luis Purini who had the time with the ball dropping to him. A brilliant strike into that bottom corner. Yeah, I mean, I've touched on his technical, technical abilities. I mean, that's not easy to do. It's a sidewinder. <laughs> it's high in the air. Um, you know, had that happened three, four minutes earlier, probably would have said to say he was player of the match.